how are ya? I'm Haley, and today we are back with another normal traditional video and um, I did one of these I think last year or maybe whatever you know it doesn't matter I, I've done one of these videos before people really liked it I got a comment saying that they wanted me to do another one of these Christmas haul videos and then my sister told me too that she wanted one as well so this isn't me bragging I myself enjoy looking at what other people got for Christmas so um, if it comes off as braggy that's not my intention I I'll feel bad but I just want to show you guys all of the cool stuff that I received as gifts and also to show off the beautiful people in my life who get me things that are just so beautiful and things that they know I would love I guess we can start off with this beautiful number here you can see can you see his tail my best friend Brian got me this really cute sweater um, we do a thing every Christmas where we both get a nerdy, ugly Christmas sweater and we wear it whenever we exchange gifts. So um, he got this for me and I love it so much. It's so cute and it's really big and it's warm. Since I'm talking about Brian, I guess we'll just start off with the, uh, the things that Brian got me. Um, the first thing and one of the cutest things that I got for Christmas is this um, Isabelle little Good Smile Company figure. Um, a lot of you people know if you're in my Discord and you follow me on Twitter, I have an obsession with her right now in Smash. I'm not very good with her, but I just think she's the cutest thing ever. And I haven't opened this yet. Um, I'm trying to figure out. I'm, I've been living with my dad for like almost a year now and I still haven't unpacked everything. So once I get my room situated, I will actually... Um, take her out of her box and show her cuteness to the world and this is actually her winter version so you can see um, <laughs> she's so cute she um, she's wearing her little winter sweater and uh, there's real bells on her I'm pretty sure and she's yeah she's just really cute and I love her so much the next thing Brian got me is this really cool set of like a bunch of different key blades honoring Kingdom Hearts 3 coming out in less than a month now <coughs> the next thing Brian got me is something so cool that I had seen on Etsy before, but I always wanted it and every time I saw it I like had this urge to buy it, but I could never justify buying it because it was kind of expensive But um, Brian just came through and it's just so cool But I feel like it needs a little bit of explanation for some people who haven't played Breath of the Wild um, This is the master edition that Brian also got me as you can see the iconic flower of Breath of the Wild is this silent princess right here and it's really cute and it's really pretty and you can find them everywhere in Hyrule anyway there's never really been a lot of like merchandise with like surrounding the silent princess like it's always Link or the champions which I'm fine with but I always wanted a silent princess because they are so pretty and they're just really cool looking and Brian got me one this is um, actually made out of metal a person did make this and they um, they painted it or like sp spray painted it or something and I feel like it's kind of hard to pick up the stamp but it's just oh my god it is so it is so cool looking and it's gonna be such a cool like piece to have and it just looks so awesome I love it so much and um, yeah Brian did really good it just it looks so cool it looks so pretty for something like a flower being made out of metal and having to be colored it's just it is so cool I love it so much okay my next gifts are from one of my favorite people in the whole world um, Chris uh, if you're active in my discord or on Twitter you see Chris he's one of my mods he's one of the best people ever and um, he actually got me the special edition of Owlboy and if you know me I have been crazy 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 about this game I just it's one of the best games ever um I guess we can unbox it you get a little certificate of authenticity giving you the um edition number and um it's a really cute little card with Otis and Getty on it um you also get stickers that I'm never gonna use <laughs> and um you also get the game physically and I have it physically and I'm gifting it to one of my friends Christian now because now I have two copies because originally this game wasn't physical it was only digital but I recommend this game so much it's so adorable if you have a switch you know a lot of the game boxes don't come with manuals but this one does which is a really cool thing to have um, it doesn't seem like much but when normally the switch like 
cases. They don't come with manuals. The games don't if you buy them physically, so this is a really cool thing to have. You also get this um, Owlboy notebook, and uh, I don't even want to open it that much because I don't want to like crease it but I'm never writing in it, so it doesn't really matter. You also get the soundtrack, which is amazing. Like, I don't know what it is about indie games. Indie games, like, almost always have really amazing soundtracks. I love them, and this is no exception to it. And then the last thing in here is, let me see. We had a hard time opening this, and then everything flung everywhere. Yeah, when you open this, it comes with, um, two buccanary coins, which are the currency in this game, and then two um, little enamel pins, which are adorable, and I'm just so happy. I love this. I love this game so much, and I love getting special editions of games that I adore because you appreciate it so much, and this is just really cool. I, I love it so much. I love it. I love it. I'm so happy. It's really hot. Okay, the next thing Chris got me is, um, you Spyro fans know what this is. This is the little, uh, chest that, um, they put the enamel pins in, and as you can see, Okay, I got scared. I thought one of them was gone. Uh, as you can see, these are a bunch of uh, the licensed enamel pins by Numskull. I am in the process of like collecting every single piece of Spyro merchandise that I can like physically buy. Because obviously, it's one of my favorite games. It's what shaped my life. It's what brought me here. So uh, yeah, this is just all of these Spyro enamel pins. And they're beautiful. And I love them. And they get to stay in this little cute box for now. I think that's all of my friend gifts, so now we're gonna shift to what my family got me. I didn't really think this through. I need a shirt. Please hold. I had to change my shirt for this next one. I'm sorry, I'm not festive right now. Um, so this is, oh my God, probably one of the most thoughtful presents I got for Christmas was the second one from my sister. Um, and I feel like you guys will appreciate it a lot. Um, so, my sister is known in my town by all of her friends and by all of our family for her pa her huge patch jacket that she has that she sticks all of her pins on. Um, she's obsessed with pins. She has so many pins. And I've always been kind of like jealous because I always wanted to start like a nerdy pin collection but I just never got around to it and I always loved her patch jackets. And so she actually had one made for me and that's not even the best part because, you know, anybody can buy a jean jacket and stick really cute pins on them, but she actually had this um, embroidered and ah, it just makes me, makes me feel so good. I'm gonna get real close to you, I'm sorry. If you can see, she had it embroidered right here. This is I'll Be Your One Up Girl, like from Super Mario Odyssey. And she put a gold cartridge, a Legend of Zelda cartridge pin on there. Um, and on the collar, she put this Triforce pin. I stuck this Axel pin on here because he is my favorite um, character in Kingdom Hearts. I love him. And she actually got that for me. And I've always bugged her for like months about these pins because I wanted them so bad, but she would never give them to me. And it's because she was making a patch jacket for me. So yeah, these pins are so cool and so cute. I love them so much. And again, that's not even the best part. The best part is what's on the back. So I'll start from right here. Um, she got, if you were, or if you follow me on Instagram and Twitter, you've seen a little bit of this. You've seen about this much of it. Um, she got Mama Nerd embroidered on the back in Comic Sans for my beautiful baby Sans from Undertale. Um, yeah, she got it embroidered. It looks really, really cool. And then going all the way down the back, she got all of these patches made for me for all of these games that I just freaking adore. They're like my favorite games ever and for my, my some of my favorite series ever. The Sly Cooper ones, here's one from Donkey Kong, one from Breath of the Wild, and there's Cappy. Here's Sparks from Spyro, uh, the Sheikah symbol, and here is Bowser symbol right here. Underneath that, we have Sonic, Donkey Kong, and Sans, my beautiful baby. And then right under that is um, Eggman from Sonic, his little symbol. Um, Sans's Gaster Blaster. And then Spyro, this really cute Spyro patch. And then underneath that we just have four little um, like squid inklings, but like in their squid form in different colors. And it's just, oh my, I just, ah, I can't, it's so cute. And it's just so much thought went into this, you know, I just, 
So yeah, that's what it looks like when it's on. It's really cute. You're supposed to put pins like all over it. Oh, I love it so much. Oh crap. Can you even see Mama Nerd? Am I covering it? I am with my freaking lion's mane. Okay, I've got a whole stack of stuff that came from my dad, so I'm gonna go through them pretty quickly. Okay, my dad got me gift cards because that's like his go-to thing. He got me Chick-fil-A, Starbucks, and then an eShop gift card. This thing, I kind of like, I said I didn't want to brag, but everybody's seen the memes. This is something you can't not brag about, even if you try to not brag about it because you come off like a jerk. <laughs> so I got AirPods for Christmas, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, Haley's rich, even though she got it as a gift and like begged for them. But I think this is really cool. You open it, look at that, look at that. That is so cool. <gasps> and then it shows you that they're, you know, all charged. It's my wife right there. <sighs> okay, sorry. I bought myself this cute case and a little squirtle um, pop socket because I couldn't find Bulbasaur. Next thing, what do you think I got? Boom, Undertale, physically. I wanted this so bad. I made it a stream goal and then um, never got it. <laughs> so uh, yeah, now I have Undertale and it actually comes with the little book, like the little story time book that the special edition comes with. But it's tiny. Look at that, it's, it's tiny. And now I have it physically for my favorite console in the whole world. So yeah, that's cool. I got the two Spyro candles that Numskull released and they actually smell good. This one, the one with the sheep, it's called Burnt Sheep. It smells like cologne, it smells really good. I'm telling you guys, I'm gonna have all of the Spyro merchandise. I will have it all. So I got the Burnt Sheep one and then I got the Toasty Pumpkin one, which has Toasty on it, it's really cool. And I'm pretty sure it smells like pumpkins. Yeah, it's a very, yeah, pumpkin-y smell. It smells really good. Following the Spyro theme, I got this really cute mug. Look at the little face. Look at him, he's so cute. And then I got a really cool keychain. Came with it. After that, my dad, in front of me, bought me this um, controller. This like GameCube controller you're supposed to play with um, Smash, or it's compatible with Smash. I just play Smash with the Pro Controller, but I thought this was gorgeous. I love it, and I don't even want to take it out of the box. Oh crap, I forgot. Following the Spyro theme again, uh, he got me, what do you think? The Spyro plushie, because like I said, I need every single piece of Spyro merchandise I can get my freaking hands on. Huggable, try me, shake action. Yeah, he shakes, which, come on Spyro, you did it before and I didn't even touch you. He's shy, just, he's shy. Baby, please. You're embarrassing me. Shake! Can you even see that? Like why? Why do you do that? I hug you now and you're not gonna shake? What does it take? <sighs> My sister thinks he looks ugly, but he can't help it. That's how he was made. Are you gonna shake? Are you gonna show me shake action? No, oh, why do you do this? <laughs> why is this a thing? He's, he's, having, he's having a rough time. The next thing I got was, uh, actually I saw this because my friend Mandy on YouTube, um, she's Mandy Plays, she's really cute and really cool. You should all watch her videos. Um, it's this Hollow Knight plushie and it actually comes with the game for Nintendo Switch. So um, I asked for, for it for my dad and again I don't want to take it out because the box is really pretty why would I take it out I already have the code it's already on my switch so I probably won't take it out he's just gonna sit in there and look really pretty okay the last thing I got for my dad a lot of you will appreciate is this creating a champion um, little guide it's really heavy <laughs> and it is beautiful. Prepare yourself for a thrilling behind the scenes exploration into the art and making of one of the most groundbreaking video games of all time, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Not just dying again. Your adventure starts with nearly 50 pages of sketches, promotional illustrations, and character art from illustrator Takumi Wada. Explore 300 pages of concept art complete with notes and recollections Re recollections from the developers. Stop and rest a while as you pour over the history of Hyrule and its people as it is known now. Finally meet the masters themselves as director uh, Hidemaro Fujibayashi, art director Satoru Takizawa, illustrator Takumi Wada, and series producer Eji Anuma discuss their journey to create a champion. And it's beautiful. It's a thick boy. It's really heavy. And I just, oh, it's so beautiful. Beautiful bird boy right there. You're welcome. Let me just flip to the, to the most important page, all right? Look at that 
beautiful boy. Oh, what a babe. Also, there you go. Shirtless Rivali for my fellow furries. <laughs> okay, my battery's about to die. So while my other one charges, I'm gonna see how far I can get before my battery goes out. We got through all dad's stuff, now we're gonna go to my mom. One of the coolest things that she got me was actually a record player. If you guys remember from my last Think Geek haul, I was gifted two really cool vinyls from um, Think Geek and I haven't gotten to listen to them. So now I finally get to hear this beautiful Ocarina of Time soundtrack in all of its glory. It's just so beautiful. start my new obsession with um, video game soundtracks as vinyls so that's healthy the next thing she got me were these um, were actually a popular item among my friends uh, my friend Christian actually got some of these too it's this breath of the wild astro headset um, it's really cool and it's really beautiful and I wanted it really bad they sound really nice um, like everything's super muffled now and um, they're really cool, I love them. And they match my new Pokemon Switch. This gold actually matches really well. I got lots of candy from my mom and from my Nana. I got some perfume. <laughs> if you've seen The Nightmare Before Christmas, it is my favorite movie of all time. <laughs> um, but if you remember the names of these, these are actually, they're perfume bottles in the shape of potions. So this is um, Frog's Breath, and Deadly Nightshade and Worm's Wart. It's just, it's what she uses to make that little potion to put him to sleep so she can leave. You see that? The bottles look really cool too. Like, they're like ombre almost. We have a tradition in my house. This, um, this artist's name is Jim Shore. Um, he makes a bunch of these little statues. Um, they're really cute. And um, this year, from my aunt, I got a little zero one. Isn't he cute? Cool, cool, cool beans. I got a scarf. My battery died. I got the scarf for my Nana. Got these gloves for my Nana. Got this device that you're supposed to rip off the top and it wards away um, predators because when you rip it off, it makes a really loud noise. Here, I'll demonstrate for you. Oh my God, that's so bad. Ah, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. See, a practical gift. This Mario robe from my Nana. She's so hip, isn't she? I love her. <laughs> One more thing I wanted to mention was um, a few of my friends actually gave me some uh, eShop gift cards along with my dad. So my dad, uh, one of my best friends, Jay, and then one of my really good fellow furries online, Glee, all gave me um, Nintendo eShop gift cards and I was able to buy, let me see, I don't know what the final total was. Yeah, <laughs> I was able to buy five indie games and I will show you what they are. I really want to make videos on, or no. Was that Logan Paul? Did I just, I swear I'm not watching a Logan Paul video. Why did that happen? Oh, okay, I swear, see, it's an iDubs video. I wasn't watching Logan Paul, oh my God. So this game, Gris, beautiful, beautiful indie game. I am so in love with it right now. I really want to make a video about it and stream it for you guys. Not that expensive. All of these are around 10 to $20, so it wasn't even that bad. Um, so I got Gris inside, which I've been wanting for a long time. Uh, Hollow Knight from my dad. Uh, and then Firewatch. And then the first tree, which really reminds me of Faye. As a lot of you know, I love, love, love Faye. <coughs> this room is a mess. That's great. I love this part. I love the part after I make the video where I have to clean up everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was super fun to make. I hope you liked all of my stuff. Let me know in the comments what your favorite thing is that you got for Christmas, whether it's video game related or, you know, whatever. Whatever your favorite thing was. It doesn't have to be video game related. You could have gotten a clock or some adult stuff that you probably need that I should have asked for instead of asking for a Spyro plushie. 
As a bunch of you on Twitter know, I um, am finally done with school. I will have my associate's degree um, when I graduate in the spring, so I will have a lot more time to make videos. I plan on very soon putting out um, my official Patreon for those who want to support me um, in an extra little way. Um, it's not required. I do have a lot of really cool perks planned out. Um, I'm just really excited to be able to focus more on YouTube because school was taking up every single bit of my free time after work and on the weekends. So yeah, my next video for all of my Discord members who keep giving me crap about it will be my Q&A. It'll be like a New Year Q&A um, because that video was posted three months ago. <laughs> Good job, Haley. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, subscribe down below to become part of the nerd herd. I love you so, so much, and I will see you next week. Bye.